everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. I'm Kiara. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my August favorites. There's not much, but I thought I'd show you guys anyways. So let's get right into this video. So my first August favorite doesn't really go into a category. It's just um, a smoothie because I'm drinking it right now and I thought I'd share with you guys that I'm obsessed with them and I've been drinking them nonstop. Like, I make one every single day, and if I don't make one, I buy one. It's really, really bad. I just, I can't go day without one. They're so good. So, other than my smoothie, there's the skincare category, and the first thing I have is my Indian Healing Clay Mask, and you guys have heard me talk about this already in another video. I have a separate video on just this and how much I love it. So, I'll have that link down below if you haven't watched it already, but this was obviously going to be in this video because I love it so much, and yeah. The next thing I have is my Mario Badescu Rose Water, and this is amazing. I ran out of my little small one, so I got the big one, and I'm already, like, like down to here. Like, what? I just... It's just so good for my skin. I love it. Okay, so moving on to beauty. I bought the Real Techniques Beauty Sponge, and I really like it. I like the shape of it and how it has, like, this flat side. So, like, I can do, you know, like, with my... Uh, what's that called? Uh, translucent powder. And it's super dense. So it's like, not as fluffy as the actual Beauty Blender. And I kind of like it because it doesn't absorb the foundation as much. But um, I still love my Beauty Blender, and this is just as good. So I've been using this a lot. There's a couple more makeup products. So here I have my um, Marc Jacobs, like it's a mini mascara, and then the Tarte one. And I got this in a little package with a whole bunch of other mascaras, but these are the ones I've been using the most. And together, they just make my eyelashes look so good. So I've been using these a lot lately. Then I have the... Kim Kardashian uh, cream liquid lipstick and you guys know that I have like the pack and I actually been using the lightest color a lot lately because I've been into the nude color and I kind of like it it's it looks super good on actually it grew on me this is the color Kimberly and I just really been liking this for the summertime it's super natural it's just something to like throw on and like you know look a little more put together and I really really like it next thing I have are some nail polishes right now my nails aren't done I have to do them and I just have a clear coat right now but I'm gonna actually do them this color and this is the Sally Hansen Miracle Gel um, nail polish and it's like the gel one so this is step one and then I have the step two which is like the gel top coat and this is in the color graffiti and I love it so so much it looks a little blue on me because of my skin tone but it's like a grayish bluish I don't know I really like this it looks so good and most of the, um, the Sally Hansen ones like with these they like chip super easily like they crack they don't chip like they kind of like just crack weird I don't know but this one lasts me a little longer than most of them and it's super opaque so I really really love this and then for my normal nail polishes I got this top coat this is a Sally Hansen extreme wear um, clear top coat and it works super good it doesn't make my nails chip they last longer so I've really been enjoying these too. So moving on to fashion, I have a couple things that I've been wearing all the time. And the first thing is this hoodie dress and it's super, super cute and comfy. It looks like I tried when I just threw this on. Like I look so put together when in reality I'm like super comfy and it just, it's amazing. It's a little more sporty, a little more edgy and I really, really like it. So it just looks like that. Because you know, there was this time where I wore this three days in a row because I was so lazy to put on an outfit, but it's okay. I looked good. The next thing are a pair of shoes, and they are just these little slip ons. I think they're called, are they Oxfords or like, I think they're Oxfords or Mule? Guys, I really don't know, but they're just literally these cute little slip ons. I got them in baby pink, and I kind of want to go back and get the black ones just because it goes with more things and I throw this on with every outfit I kid you not it literally goes even though they're pink they go with everything I've worn so far and I love them I got them from TJ Maxx if you were wondering they're only like $20 the next pair of shoes I got are a little more dressy and I just got these pair of heels they're just clear and then metallic and they like lace up you guys probably saw them in my other video but I got them from a store called shoe shop I'll have it linked down below they were like $30, super cheap, and they're actually really comfortable. They're not too high, they're easy to walk in. I love these so much, so whenever I have an event or something to go to, I literally throw these on because they go with anything. So I've really been loving these. Okay, so moving on to accessories. The first thing is 
the hat I have on right now. It's just this Nike cap, and I love it because if I don't feel like wearing makeup or doing my hair, I can just throw this on and I'll look sporty. So it's a lifesaver. But then I have some jewelry that I bought recently. These are some little bracelets. They're just gold, and I got them from H&M. And I really like them because they're super simple, and I can just throw a couple on, and it adds a little something to my outfit. So they're super cute. I've really been loving those lately. And then I bought some necklaces from New York and Company. And you guys asked me, where did you get your necklace? Oh my god, I love them. I'm like, New York and Company. And like, I don't, I don't know. My mom was like, oh, they have jewelry there. I'm like, okay. And I found them and I was like, oh my god, so cute. So the one I have on right now is just super, super simple. And it just has like little gold um, beads. And then the next one looks like this. It has some little crystals going down, but they're not dangling. So like the crystals are like on your neck. Then the last one is this one that has little dangling crystals, and I think it's super cute, it's super dainty, I love dainty jewelry, and they're all little chokers, but you can make them like longer necklaces if you want. Then I just have my sunglasses, they're super cute, I love them, and you guys have seen them in my What's In My Purse video, but yeah. The last thing I have in my accessories is just this little crossbody bag by Tommy Hilfiger. It has these really cute straps, it's just white, cream, and um blue and I think it's super cute. It's perfect size. I fit everything in here. The back has a little pocket. Just open like this. And I, I really like this. That's everything in my accessories. So I think I have some things in like my entertainment. So like shows and books I've been loving lately. The first show I've been loving is Future Fashion with Alexa Chung. It's a little series on YouTube by um, British Vogue and it's super interesting. It's about the fashion industry and she like goes like behind the scenes and talks to creative directors, the business people, everything in the fashion industry, everything that has to do with fashion and it's super interesting. If you're into that, I really recommend watching it. I'll have it linked down below so you guys can check it out. It's amazing. I love it. And my friend has been telling me to watch this for the longest time and I just got around to watching it and it's amazing. The next one is sort of like a fa another fashion show as you can tell. I love fashion, the fashion industry. It's called The Bold Type and it's on Freeform. It's about these three girls that like work at a fashion magazine and it's just about their lives and it's super interesting. Some books I've been reading lately are The Secret. I have it on my phone and I love The Secret. I remember my mom reading and watching The Secret when I was like younger and I just, I love it. And then I also been reading The Alchemist. I remember I got this assigned for a school project and I never finished it. I reread it and I'm almost done with it and I love it. I have it on my phone as well because it's just easier for me to like have it on the go and read on my phone wherever I'm at. So those are the two books I've been reading lately and they're super, super interesting. They're super positive. I love them so much. But that completes this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Those were my August favorites. Comment down below what you've been obsessed with this month and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video. Mwah.